Face Rest Transceiver Review 2011 uh, masking and triple burials. Uh, I just want to show you first of all how much of a nightmare a triple burial situation will be and also the limitations of digital masking. All transceivers now that have three antennas and digital processing search very well for one transceiver and actually pretty well for two transceivers so you find the first one, mask it and move on to find the second one. Uh, that's all, and they're all pretty equal at that. But then there's a lot of marketing and hype about how many transceivers you can search for and how many you can, the transceiver can count and identify. But I want to show you really how unimportant that is because it accounts for you know less than five percent of all rescues and how difficult it is. So I've got a, a number of transceivers from different brands to show you that it's not specific to one brand. Okay, so I'm now going to mark this first transceiver. Okay, now I've got a reading of 27 metres. I want me to go straight ahead. So off I go towards this transmit. Okay, 27, going down. So it's straight away dropped from 27 to 8 metres. But okay. So 10, 12. 12 meters so right at this point this, this, the distance was going up but it wants me to turn to the right so I'll stick with that I'll turn to the right okay the numbers are jumping around a bit now it wants me to go off to the left so I'll go off to the left 9 meters but we only get some lower readings off to the right 16 meters you see it's jumping around it's caused by signal overlap really now 20 meters 15 meters 19 meters off to the right. Okay, so it's quite confusing. I mean, I'm probably best just to ignore this, the left and right and go straight forwards. So, four meters off to the right, so I'd definitely take that. 4.2, 4.8. So now I'm going the wrong way. The numbers are going up. So I would turn back round. Got five meters it's off to the left a bit. See, I'm just getting left and right, never can get it to stay in the middle. Okay, so six meters off to the left. I'd like to show you that if I zoom out, okay, over there, probably two meters away from me, is an avalanche transceiver. Okay, and I'm getting conflicting readings of seven meters, and um, yeah, stand on seven meters. So if I get the arrow in the middle on there, seven meters, and walk forwards, seven, seven point eight. Nine, so it's going up. So I'm going to come back round to where I had seven meters, get in the middle, and walk forwards again. Okay, I'd like to show you that if I just artificially walk over the top of this transceiver, okay, it's seven meters, nine meters, I am over a transmitting transceiver. Okay, there is another transceiver over there about three and a half meters away, it's probably trying to take me to that one. So I'll just artificially go towards that one. Four meters, two meters. Okay, so it was all the time trying to take me to this transceiver, although very, very badly. But even while it was over the top of another transceiver. So I'm gonna mark this one and see what happens. Okay, so I've marked this transceiver. It's now telling me it's got another transceiver 22 meters away that way. And don't forget that over there, four meters away, less, is another transceiver. So we're going to do the same pretty confusing uh, triple burial situation with the new Barrier Vox element. Okay, so I've just turned the transceiver on, just giving it a few seconds. Okay, so it wants me to turn this direction. Okay, 13 meters. It's receiving one signal and the plus sign indicates it's receiving something else, but it's not sure what yet. So 12 meters, 11. So I'm following it, keep the arrow in the middle. 10 meters, wants me to come to the left, round to the left. Okay, and I'm closing in on my first transceiver, just as in the other tests. Okay, and it's offering me the mark, so I'll come right over the top of it and take the mark. Okay, so at this point there are two other transceivers 10 meters away from me. Now I have to say, I've done this test a few times with the element, and the last two times I did it, it performed really, really well, and it, it marked the first transceiver, took me to the second one, and then took me to the third one. 
Whereas this time it didn't have any signal for a while and now it's got a signal 21 metres away so I'm going to head off this way. 19, 20, 19, 18, yeah it's okay. So 16, 15 round to the right. Okay, told me to go round to the left, 10 metres, back to the left a little bit. Now 13 metres out to the right, get it back in the middle. So a bit of conflicting information, but um, generally it's doing okay. Takes me 10 metres. Okay, and now it's pretty firmly got the transceiver I'm interested in, and it's going to take me straight to it. And it's offering me the mark. So I'm going to mark that one. Okay, and it has now straight ahead, pretty done pretty well, and wants me to take the um, last mark. So that is the third transceiver. So actually that was pretty good, it was a bit confused at first, but um, I have to say I've had very, very mixed results with the element. Sometimes it's done it really well, and sometimes it's performed quite poorly. Okay, and there's my uh, first transceiver. Okay, so now I'm going to use the only button on the 3 plus was the marking button. So I've now marked that transceiver. It's picking up a second signal. So I try and get the black arrow in the middle, 22 meters and go forwards. Okay, 22 meters, 21. So the number's going down, so I'm going in the right direction. Okay, so off to the left a bit. And it's taking me towards the second. Off to the left a bit more. Okay, it's all pretty good. Uh, now below 10 metres, I'm slowing down again, coming down towards the snow. Oh, it's going to come right off to the right-hand side. Okay, it's just jumping around a bit the directional arrow at the minute. Okay, but I'll keep doing what it says, forwards. Just, it just keeps saying left, right, left, right, but I'm going roughly. Okay, and then we go into below 2 metres, we go into bracketing. And then, very briefly, my target transceiver disappeared which is basically some signal overlap with the one that's masked. So my transceiver disappeared for like two seconds, but then it come back again, and now I can do some standard bracketing so you find it. Okay. So it's very slow to update. In fact, it's not updating at all. 0.8, I'm now two meters away. Still saying 0.8. Has located the third transmitter but it took all that time before it jumped up to 4.6 metres. Okay, so I'll come back. 2.6, it was, it was, while it was processing the third signal, it stopped updating the screen. So there we go with some bit of bracketing. Okay, and what's happened now is the transceiver I'm looking for has disappeared under the patch again, and now it's come back. Okay, so I'm now going to mask that transceiver.